um, you know, we, we, we got a lot of chances. Um, we're pretty, we're playing pretty sound hockey. And it's just, um, you know, not, not being able to, to capitalize and, and put it in the back of the net. So, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's frustrating when, when you can't score, but, uh, they we're still we we're still playing good hockey right now. You mentioned those scoring opportunities, the shots on goal. Just what was the biggest factor in terms of not being able to turn those into goals? Uh, I mean, it's a combination of a bunch of things. I think we were doing a good job of shooting the puck and, and getting traffic to the net. I think um, you know more traffic would have helped for sure. And and um, you know sometimes it's, it just won't go in, and and um, you know, that's part of the game. So uh, we'll 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 find a way. Um, to put it in the back of the net next time. When it comes to special teams, just how frustrating is it to, to not be able to, to capitalize on the man advantage in those opportunities? Yeah, our, our power play has struggled uh, this year, so um, you know we're we're still grinding away. It's it's important to, to get that power play rolling. So um, you know I'm I'm sure we're going to figure it out, and and you know once once we do, it's it's, it's going to make our team that that much more dangerous. What can a team learn from a game like this? Uh, I mean, it's it's a hard fought game. It's uh, we we grinded right till the end. Um, you know, I think it's just you know we're not going to lose too many games if, if we play like that. So um, you know, you, you don't want to take too much negatives from that game. Thank you, Sam. Well, the guys played well. Um, you know, we 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 stuck together and played a great team game. But in the end, I think we just you know we just got to find a way to win. I think that starts with me and just being a little better on my end. I think I need to be able to give the team to give the team life situations in tight games. And that's something that I pride myself on. And, uh, as part of my game, I usually like to do that and come up with, with uh, big saves at big moments. But uh, obviously, I couldn't do that tonight. You did have some big saves. This would allow you to be focused in those moments. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't look at like the saves I always just make. I try to continue that because it's one of those things that if you you know you have the momentum in terms of making the saves if you can't continue it and you know you let up a goal it uh it obviously swings momentum and kind of is like a not a letdown but kind of like a sit back but um yeah so i think i just i don't know i just gotta find myself uh to uh, keep going and just be better yeah, I mean, I think we, we, we start to our game. I mean, it's a long season, a lot of games, so uh, I think the guys, we just, you know, we just have to just keep playing our game, you know. It's, you know, we don't get too high when we win, so it's, you know, for, you know, for me, it's always like, it's always harder when you lose. I think I'm a little harder myself, personally, when we lose compared to when, you know, I don't get too high when I win, but, so you just got to remind yourself that you don't let, if you don't let yourself get too high, you can't get too low. Is there an added challenge, maybe? Just <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I mean, honestly, it's like one of those things that you always, uh, everyone does it, right? And I, 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 I try not to let that make be an excuse at all. You know, I, I, I like those challenges, and I like playing hockey, and you know, I, wherever, wherever the heck we are, I just want to play, and I don't care if they change time zones or fly six hours, I just want to play. So. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, that would be the problem. It's the first 10 of the uh, third period is where we lost the hockey game. and We uh, had done what we needed to do and, and uh, didn't accept, I think, through 40 minutes that it was still at a, a tight game. And then, uh, you know, the first 10 minutes, we, we did a lot of things we haven't done very much this year, uncharacteristic play. Um, uh, so that's, that's if we put ourselves in that position. What was the difference in terms of that first period? So the first two are right. I mean, we uh, killed penalties for the most part. We generated, you know, we had three posts and two breakaways and all, all that nice stuff. But we got into the third period and uh, our transition game disappeared. We were trying to beat people one-on-one -on -one in places that you can't. And just some patience so we have to build into our game. The scoring chances, the, the shots were there once again. Um, just what's been the biggest challenge in terms of not being able to convert? It, 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 that's just it. I mean, there's there's just lots of chances each night where you've got good players that that aren't connecting on on their shot or missing or it's bouncing. It's, so they're not getting a lot of breaks around the net, which is fine. You still can and should win hockey games uh, as long as you don't do what we did in the first ten minutes of the third period. Thank you.
You said discipline was going to be a, a crucial part of this game. How would you? I, I, I'm going to say it was really good. I, it was an unusually um, called game, so there were things that were called. That, uh, it's not a complaint. It was just. I don't think you could assess uh, or have a problem with either team's discipline early in the game. There's been a lot written and said about the oddity of this place. Your first experience here. What, you know what? It's opinion? it's like a great junior barn up in Canada, right? It's the crowd sitting right on top of it. There's lots of energy. Um, it's not, you know, it's, it's not as thunderous as a 20,000-seat arena, but it's still loud and uh, energetic. Thank you. Okay, guys. Thank you very much.